In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what I do, why I do it, and my preparation strategy for the Madden Classic coming up next weekend. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've never seen any of the videos that I've posted on YouTube, my channel is entirely designed to help people become better Madden players. I'm trying to become better at Madden myself. I watch a lot of Madden. I study the game a lot. Um, and what we try to do is we try to synthesize the information for you. We try to basically take the, um, the the big takeaways that we're learning from pro players and learning from just watching Madden and practicing a little bit ourselves, and we try to basically boil that down into tangible things that you can apply every single day. We post about eight videos a day that are designed to basically just teach the game, share with you different insights that we're learning, share with you different tools that you can use um, to be able to be a more effective player. So if you're interested in becoming better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free and it helps out the channel a ton. Okay guys, so I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch um, today's video. Now again, if you've never been to the channel before, uh, the channel is entirely devoted to basically just helping people become better players at this game. And again, it's completely free to subscribe. Now if you have any questions about the gameplay or anything that I'm doing in the gameplay, you can always hit me up via text message. My number is 812-216-3644. All right guys, so I'm really excited to jump into today's video. And the reason why is because um, we're talking a little bit about our new Cover 4 defense that we've been running. Um, this is in our Nickel 335 defensive ebook, which you can pick it up in the description if you want to get a free sample. Um, that's in the description as well, or um, not in the description, I'm sorry. You have to text me for that. That's in my text membership. But uh, we're just working through some things now. I'm actually really excited. This guy's running some bunch tight end. Uh, I believe bunch tight end is probably the hardest defense um, to, or hardest offense to consistently be able to take care of um, and eliminate. Um, but as you can see here, I think we're going to get a decent... Ah, uh, we almost got an interception there with Perry Nickerson. But I'm running this cover four defense out of the 335 wide. I've got some videos about it on the channel and how to actually turn this into a really, really good coverage. There's a couple of different adjustments that I make to it. Um, but essentially, I will adjust based on, you know, kind of just how... Uh, kind of just how everything is going you know oftentimes there's some keys you know for example depending on where they put their especially in regs one of the major keys is where do they put their best player um, that will help you kind of identify you know obviously who they want to target so like right here um, I'm going to man up the tight end throw a three rec hook on the field um, we probably shouldn't do that but that's okay we're going to do this spacing switch there's a yep and there we go we got it all bagged up Good defensive stance by that, but but that's what I'll kind of do, especially and when you're playing um, when you're playing and you don't have any tape on people, I think that's a big deal um, because when I don't have any tape on somebody, like I don't know what they do, I don't know what I don't know where to start, you know. So I have to start somewhere, and I start with the cover four match, and the reason why is because. Um, the meta of Madden right now, at least, and, and what most people are trying to accomplish is they're trying to accomplish some type of flood concepts or crossing routes and things like that. And that cover four defense does a pretty good job against all of those things. So anyway, starting off here, I'm going to go to curl flat corner. It's my favorite passing play in the entire game. Um, I'm actually doing a couple of new setups out of it today. Um, and again, the same thing with the 3-3-5 defense. If you want to get the gun bunch tight end offense, it's the offense that I ran to get into the Madden Classic uh, tournament. I'm preparing for that coming up this weekend. And we'll get into that a little bit more in a second. Um, but this is the offense that I would recommend. Um, I would recommend anybody running. And I actually have a free sample of the offensive ebook in uh, my text membership so you can go ahead and text me if you want to get that free sample um, the offense is really really effective and, and, and it just really is especially if you master your execution um, I think if you can really get good at executing this offense you're gonna have a lot of success so anyways all that to say the full offensive ebook is in the description and if you have any questions you can hit me up via text or if you want to get that free sample so really what I'm doing here um, Starting off is just kind of my standard stuff out of bunch tight end. Now, I've actually been working a little bit on some red zone passing concepts as well out of this offense. Uh, I don't have it all dialed in just yet, but really one of the plays that I think could be pretty good is this tight end corner play. Um, and the reason why is because you can basically have these, sim these simplified flood concepts here. 
And then the other thing that I really like is I think the option route is super glitchy, super effective. Um, it's one of the best man beaters in the game. Um, and right there, of course, I'm gonna, as I talk about how good it is, I throw an interception on that route. And I need Aaron Rodgers to catch John Bostic. John Bostic might be too fast for me. And let's see if we can't catch him, get him in the red zone. Dang it, we didn't. Okay, good job. Uh, good job by him. I threw that route way, way late. I thought he was going to – I thought he was in man coverage. So, good defense by him. I think he manned the tight end up. Um, so, obviously, my red zone offense needs some work. And to be honest with you, as we kind of transition into talking a little bit about the Madden Classic coming up this weekend, um, my red zone offense definitely needs a little bit work, a little bit of work. Um, from about the seven yard line to about the three yard line. So when I'm in that, or really probably the ten yard line to about the three yard line, that's where I struggle the most. And as you saw right there, you know, and I've been working on. I kind of am telling myself like I have another goal line offense that I've been using. I'm not going to use that offense um, as I try to prepare for this tournament uh, until the day of the tournament. And the reason why, uh, or maybe until I'm playing some more serious preparation games. The reason why is I'm trying to force myself to learn how to pass on the goal line um, because not very many people can do that. And so, you know, on the flip side, on the defensive side of the ball, uh, I'm trying to learn how to, number one, stuff every run that they can do, including quarterback sneak, fullback dive, stretch, all of that within one run defense. And then I'm also trying to figure out how to stop some of the core passing concepts that people will use in the red zone or in the really in the goal line, not necessarily the red zone. But anyways, that's a little bit about kind of my preparation. Those are the two big things. Uh, my big takeaway from the Madden Classic um, is really it does. It, it, it totally comes down to executing. If you can execute at a high level, you will be effective. If you can't execute, like, good luck, man. Um, so this week, that's that's entirely my goal, is to just prepare uh, like crazy to execute. There was one offense that gave me a little bit of trouble, so I need to get in the lab on that. Um, and then there was really only, uh, if I look at all of the games that I played, there was really only two routes from Gun Bunch that I had a little bit of a tough time stopping. The first one was the option route to the running back. Um, and that was another takeaway for me was I need to, because Aaron Jones has the ability um, of backfield mismatch, I think, um, he's going to do a really, really good job of of getting um, separation against man-to-man -man coverage. So a couple couple big takeaways. Number one, sideline user catching. I need to be better about my ability to, to user catch on the sideline. And then number two, I need to use more option routes. So like if they're running man coverage a lot, I need to use the option route. It's super, super good. Also, the running back streak, I think personally, I need to use that a little bit more than I was. But as you see, there's that user catch, and that's what I'm talking about, user catching on the sideline being a really, really important feature of the offense. I have to get better at that. I think that I cost myself a couple of possessions um, in the Classic because I wasn't I was, I was, wasn't doing a good job of my timing. It was like my timing was just a little bit slow, uh, mostly on Xbox, and I chalked that up a little bit to not being comfortable with the controller. But I either need to go buy something for that um, so that I can be effective on the Xbox side, like an adapter so I can use my PlayStation controller, or something so that I can be a little bit more effective um, on the user on the Xbox side. I felt like that was really what killed me on Xbox. Um, the one game that I lost on Xbox, I really beat myself. I, two, I threw, I think, three intercepts. I turned the ball over three or four times, um, and three of those times I was in scoring position. So those are some of the little things that will cost you, cost you, cost you. So, again, it all, it all does really center around execution. So, anyways, uh, right here, and he's going to run some slants. And Jair Alexander just made a huge interception. That was really, really crazy. That's why Jair Alexander is so good. Um, he's got that acrobat ability. He also has deep out uh, zone KO, I believe, or deep out zone elite or whatever it is. But essentially, in the cover four defense, it allows him to be very effective um, in those coverages as well. So looks like my opponent is going to go ahead and click, click, or, uh, quit out here. Um, but if you guys want to get... The entire offensive ebook that I've been working on that has been very successful in the competitive Madden scene, at least so far, and will hopefully continue to be competitive um, throughout this tournament. That link uh, is in the description. If you want to get the defense that I've been using, it's the best defense in the game. It's been the best defense all season, and it continues to shine um, and continues to be very effective. 
also now adding in some matching coverages and principles like that. So that link is also in the description. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions, you can always hit me up via text message. My number is 812-216-3644. We'll be streaming tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel. And last but not least, just want to quickly remind you if you want to get any of my ebooks or coaching sessions, all of those links are available for you in the description of this video.